If you're wondering if you should make the two ingredient pizza. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie. And I'm Will. And thank you so much for being here today. Today we're doing a cook with us and we're making a two ingredient pizza. Two. <laughs> so we're kind of skeptical. We're just bringing you guys along on this journey because we thought, why not? It's a Friday night. Saturday. Oh my gosh, I just thought uh, it was Friday. I know, we can just I'm so sorry I'm lying to you. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a Saturday night and we're making these pizzas. You can probably hear the oven heating up in the background and we're excited to see if these are hit or miss. So come along with us on this journey of making these pizzas. We'll see if they're good. If they're not, I don't know what, you're, what we're gonna do because there are dinner plans for tonight. And what are you expecting? Like good, great, or like average? I think they'll be average. That's what I'm thinking too. So let's see. Like, they're not gonna be dominoes. We we personally like dominoes. You know people are gonna be offended when you say we're hoping for a great pizza. Dominoes. Dominoes. <laughs> no. I know, no. I'm hoping that they're really good and but actually I really can't hope that they're good. The dough is literally made out of Greek yogurt and flour. And I wouldn't have picked I don't know. Yeah. Like I don't know. So we'll see. Without further ado, let's get into it. So to make this pizza, as I said, it literally takes flour and yogurt. Ew. <laughs> so yogurt. this is the yogurt that they recommend. It's, I don't honestly even know how to pronounce this. It's this one. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you go ahead and try to pronounce it? F-A-G-E. So, oh, it says pronounced right here. Faye. <laughs> Faye yogurt. Actually, it just smells like normal Greek yogurt. I've had a couple small bites of it. It's like, eh, but you know, it's not. It's 0% milk fat. And then this is self-rising flour. So honestly, is this dough gonna be fluffy? Is it gonna be up to mm. our expectations? Yeah. We don't know. We'll see. And- Is this supposed to be like thin crust? I've watched a few videos on this. And from what I've seen, the thinner you roll the crust, the like thinner it is, the thicker you keep it, the thicker the crust it is. Okay, I'm probably gonna do like in between if, I, so, if I can control that. We each are making our own. You do half a cup of flour, half okay. a cup of yogurt. I'll do the yogurt, you do the flour. Well, we're gonna do the flours first, okay. and then do the yogurt. Sounds good. Dry and then wet, because I don't wanna get this all yogurty and then put the flour yeah. in. It. Okay. So we are just gonna scoop into this flour. We've never done this on my channel before, but I feel like it's fine. Let me get a knife to kind of. Yeah, let's level it out. I'll do it. Watch out, I got it. Just do it over the counter. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't work. Okay, one. One, just half for you. That's all. One half for me. We're doing the excess flour on the counter because we're gonna roll out the dough on the counter later. So I thought, why not? Cool. Cool. And then how much of this? Half. I can do that. Maybe I should clean this real quick so I'm not getting flour in my... Well, just, just plop it in there. So uh, I'm actually well, gonna eat the yogurt. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. I was going to plop it in there until you said that. Yeah. Look at, look at this plopping. That's just good plopping right there. Am I plopping it really Oh, good? please don't mind the vodka. That's our rolling pin. <laughs> One plopped yogurt for you. Oh, thank you. That is the stuff. That's good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yogurt number two. Plop it once. 
Now I kind of want some yogurt. Up twice. That's a that's a good healthy amount with a little extra. <laughs> it's our word for the day, people. Plopping. Give the people what they want, Will. Yes. Give them the plopping they want. All right. Okay, now we're going to mix it all together. I'm going to take my rings off, actually. Yeah, so Taking some accessories hands. off. Yeah, we're going to mix it with our hands. Oh, ew. It <laughs> oh, feels so weird that I... Babe, but you might... Oh, I've already done it, though. Are you sure this is how you do it? I've watched so many videos. I have a band-aid right now on my finger, on my pinky. So Will can only do so many fingers. If you come over here, they can see you struggling. <laughs> just, this is the content they came here for. It's, I, it's just so sticky. Oh my goodness. Apparently it, it will form into a dough, so. I'm just feeling hard yogurt right now. Okay, so we knew that was messy, but I didn't know it was gonna get that messy. I just washed my hands off and my dough is in a little ball. Will is working on his still. He's working on trying to get some of the dough off of his hand. Preserve it. To preserve some of it, I just did that. It does like cake on your hands a lot, but as I That's said, I just word. washed my hands. Cake. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to yeah. describe it. I actually personally do not love the feeling of it, but yeah, I was kind of like, eh, about it. But I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on the I counter. Think, I think that's good, right? Okay, so we each have our balls, and we're going to start rolling them out and just flattening them out. Oh, that's pretty good. And it's very important that you get flour on it because if you don't, it'll stick to the surface. Now I'm rolling it out. I think they look good, and I'm gonna transfer mine to the pan now. Can I get some flour for my top as well? I saw you do that. It's almost impossible to not make it thin, like super thin, because there's so little pizza dough. Yeah. Maybe we overestimated how big it can be. Let me just smush it together. <laughs> okay, so I just sprayed the edges with butter, and then I added some garlic powder. I'm trying to make a garlic crust. And then I'm going to season the rest of the crust once I flip this over. I'm really just making this all up here, so. Okay, now I'm gonna use some garlic salt on the crust and a little bit of onion powder. Will you do mine, please? Sure. Yeah. And that's about it. Now, you have to bake the crust and then for like a couple of minutes, take them out and then you can decorate them. And by decorate, I mean like sauce and cheese and whatever toppings you want. So we're gonna put these in the oven and then put our toppings on. While the pizzas are in the oven, we're gonna clean up a little bit. Pro tip, if you're waiting on something, clean in the midst of it so you can enjoy your food after. This is Will's. 
All right, let me put it down. Yeah. They're hot. Ooh, mine almost looks bigger, and we were going in thinking it was going to be smaller. Yeah. And then this one's mine. I like the color of your crust more. Okay, so we're going to decorate the pizzas. Be very careful because the pans are hot, hot, hot. And yeah, we're using turkey pepperoni, light or low moisture. That's so weird to say. Um, mozzarella cheese. This is the pizza sauce we found at the store. And we're like, we're gonna give it a go. Can we just like, there was like the usuals. I don't remember the name, but we were like, this company looks like it could use some help. Yeah. Not many people are picking it. Probably not the smart thing when we want flavor and it tastes good, but. It's we'll not focusing, you know. but it's the Dai Fratelli Italian style pizza sauce. And. Sounds Italian. We're gonna support them. Yeah, that's about it. We're gonna make our pizzas, put them back in the oven. We're hungry. Yes. <laughs> we're not gonna talk much more. I'm honestly probably not going to use all this sauce. Tell them how long you had it in the uh, oven. I put these in the oven at 400 for like 10 to 15 minutes till they got like a little crispy because we're going to put them back in. I don't like a lot of like red sauce on my pizza. I like light, light sauce. Fun fact about me today. Totally solid. You know, it doesn't feel like I can push it down. Yes, I'm pouring the cheese over my pizza in case I get any extra. <laughs> extra cheese is always good. I'm just gonna pack this down in here, hoping I. How's that look? Looks good. Okay, now for the pepperoni. I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like without dropping it there you go how cute is that it's like a little personal pizza well it is a personal pizza this is will the meat lovers and the non-meat lovers okay we're gonna put these back in the oven for probably 10 more minutes just until really the cheese melts and we'll check back in with you guys in a moment okay let's check on the pizzas they're starting to smell really good Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Does it look good? Yeah, let's check out this one. Oh my gosh, okay, they're done. Let's get them out. Let's go. All right, you wanna get them out? Wanna yeah, do I'll the honors? I'll, I'll do the honors. Which one first, mine or yours? Mine, it's, it, looks like, it looks a little extra crispy. Oh my goodness, that looks like a normal pizza. With yogurt in it. Ooh, yogurt pizza. Here we go. <laughs> Number two. Mm -hmm. That pan is so weird. It is. It's little wobbles. Yours is so bubbly and mine is so flat. I love it. That's so strange. Maybe because of my pan. Honestly. Do you think? It could be. Yeah, it could be because of the pan. Mine's like curved. Look at those pizzas. They look good. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with how they came out. Okay, you guys, so we thought we would share our first bite with you on camera to see how our pizza tastes. So. Cheers. Cheers. No pepperoni? No. No, all right, here we go. Tastes just like a pizza. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like add some like, you know, if you really want to go crazy with the pizza and add some really good seasoning to it, you can make this taste like a, like a pizza you, you get out, out on the town. I don't know why I just said out on the town, but it's good. That is so good. Tomato sauce, amazing. I don't remember. 10 the out of 10. It's amazing. <laughs> no one picks it sauce. from the shelf, but we did and it's amazing. Wow, that's actually a really good pizza. Okay. This might be going into our weekly uh, yeah. routine. Not weekly, but I like. Know. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna go enjoy our pizzas. That was good. Watch a movie, but if you're wondering if you should make the two ingredient pizza, you should make it. Anyways. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, you should hit that button down she below. She makes some good videos. Oh, I'm not you. biased. <laughs> and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make right sure there. you turn on your post notifications mm -hmm. and make sure you leave a comment down below. Follow on all socials. Oh yeah, follow me on all of my socials. Those are down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.